Hello, beautiful people. I hope all is well. I hope all is well. My name is Allison, certified dating and relationship coach. I primarily work with busy professional women to help them find the partner that they deserve. I'm hopping on live today because um, in an effort to do God's work, right? God's work through me. Um, I've decided that I'm going to go live every day through the 13th of December to teach the following things. So y'all already know what I do. You, or if you don't know, let me tell you, um, I teach people how to do the hard work. I teach people how to do the work they don't want to do. And that work starts with themselves. A lot of people complain about their dating circumstances. They complain about, um, the relationships that they've had in the past things have fallen apart and they are not ready to admit that a lot of it has to do with them before we talk about the pool there's a gentleman who asked why don't you work with with busy professional men that's an excellent question mr darling jay and i'm going to answer that question for you um ideally when i started my business three years ago i absolutely wanted to work with men uh, the way that i see things and i'm sure other people would disagree but i feel like and my husband would disagree, that I lean more into my masculine energy than my feminine. I think that I'm very logical, I'm very reasonable, and so I thought that I would get along well with men. But what I've realized is that, and this is not exclusive for men, this is women too, men don't normally like to take advice from women. Women don't normally like to take advice from men. And so instead of me trying to force myself onto a population of people who don't want to hear what I have to say, even though when their male friends tell them the same exact thing, when male coaches say the same exact thing, when male therapists say the same exact thing, with male influencers say the same exact thing, it's magic. But when I say it because I'm a woman, I am not heard or accepted. The message is not accepted as easily. And so that's why I work with busy professional women because women are more inclined to listen to women. Men are more inclined to listen to men. And I am not going to force anyone to listen or follow or do what's in their best interest, even though I have over 200 receipts that prove that what I'm saying makes sense, is reasonable, and gets results. Okay, so that's to answer that question. Now, back to what I was sharing. Why am I going live? I, and I shouldn't even say this out loud because if I don't do it, I'm going to feel bad about it. But my intention is to go live every single day through, and I started since last Sunday, um, through December the 13th because on December the 14th, I am going to be hosting my Dating 101 Masterclass. And I know that there are some of you who will not invest $19 to change your love life. I know some of you who would rather complain about your love life than do anything substantial about it. I know some of you who are going to follow all the pages and argue in the comments versus actually being honest about the effort that you are putting in. So I still want to help nonetheless. And so I vow to go live every day since Sunday through the 13th up until my Dating 101 Masterclass to teach what I'm going to be teaching now. In all fairness, though, the people who invest their whopping $19 for the live class that's on December the 14th, it's going to be organized. It's going to be structured. I'm going to have Q&A. There's going to be slides. It's going to be right. And I can't do that on live or I won't do that on live. But for those who complain about their love life but will not do anything about it, I am still going to be of service to you. Why? Because the work that I do is not about you. The work that I do is not about rings. The work that I do is not about engagements. The work that I do is not about gowns. The work that I do is not about bachelor and bachelorette parties. The work that I do, the reason why I do this work to help people build healthy, loving relationships is because I want to have an impact on the way that society is going and the direction is going in right now is not desirable. And everyone knows, and the stats back it up, that when children are raised in loving two-parent households, they have better outcomes. Better outcomes for individuals mean better outcomes for society. I want to have a positive impact on my community. And I recognize and realize that people who are like me in their 30s or 40s or 50s, we kind of wash this over. The contribution, the change that we want to see in our society is going to come from the kids who are in school right now. It's going to come from the babies that are on their way. Right. And so the work that I do is about having an impact on society, on community. And so instead of me trying to work my way backwards and trying to fix the adults, that's kind of done. Right. Instead, I'm uh, <laughs> in terms of their impact on society. Instead, what I want to do is build healthy families. I want to build two parent households that are loving and faithful and true, financially sound and prepared to pour into their children. So that is why I do the work that I do to have an impact on the children. OK, so. 
what are we talking about today for today's live let me pin it at the bottom dating 101 live master class december 14th comment or dm dm the words i don't want that in caps the words the words dating dating 101 for the link it's 19 bucks i like let me can i tell you that i'm i tend to be shady i like writing 19 bucks instead of just 19 or 19 dollars because that's how insignificant of an investment this is i can potentially change your entire love life that's how insignificant of an investment this is that this could potentially change your love life so i like writing the word bucks just to just to prove because bucks just sound so cheap right however instead what some folks are going to do is they are going to be on all the podcast pages they're going to follow all of the influencers that have no um testimonials who aren't doing the work who who have no training who have no licenses who have no certifications and then we're complaining about the end result that's unreasonable right like i i need i need our society i need our people i need women who are like me i need men who are like me who understand the value of community and family to be more reasonable you get what you pay for so at some point you got to do something different you got to do something different to get different results okay all right so what are we talking to, about today in regards to dating 101? Some of the basic things that you have to understand in order to navigate dating successfully. Again, I'm going to go through at length with examples, with slides, with Q&A that is personalized to your needs. We're going to be working in this masterclass. I probably should have called it a workshop because we're going to be working through this masterclass about how to navigate dating um, on its own this is open for anyone man woman not child but anyone who is serious about getting into the dating scene being found by the partner that they deserve finding the partner we're talking about marriage we're talking about building family okay so this is for anyone comment or dm the words dating 101 but today specifically we are talking about how to help the person that you are talking to on dating apps from the inbox to the phone to the phone to a date how are you going to help them make that switch okay so i'm gonna tell you now i'm gonna warn you now we're not gonna have a lot of people who view this live because you're not gonna like my answers especially the ladies you're not gonna like my answers the gentlemen may not like it either but i'm not here to be liked i am here to have an impact okay so how can you help the person that you are talking to on a dating app transition from the app to the phone transition from the phone to in person to an actual date so number one you need to be on an app right i'm going to be teaching on dating 101 which apps are the right ones for you i'm going to be teaching on dating 101 how to create a winning profile so you can attract the right mates and more importantly repel the wrong ones but once you have that in order and you're actually having a conversation with someone on the dating app we're now talking about how do you transition from the app to the phone from the phone to a date so number one you have to be willing to give your phone number i know that sounds like what do you mean you have to be willing to give your phone number so if you are i don't want to give my number they're going to take my number and google it they're going to find out where i live and then they're going to kill me okay so then i need you to pay for an app yes emphasis on pay i need you to pay for an app that's going to give you a secondary number you're not going to use google voice and then you are starting this relationship, right? You're starting this relationship because a relationship just means the two ways, uh, a way that two people relate. You're starting this relationship with a lack of trust. So the Google Voice number, no. If you're going to get a Google Voice number, you need to pay the $20 a month. It's 20 whopping dollars, 20 bucks, like I was talking about earlier with the shade. It is 20 whole dollars for you to pay for Google Voice so that when they call you, they don't know that they are contacting a Google Voice number because you are already setting up a situation where you're saying, I don't trust. Now, I understand why you don't trust. I understand why you have to protect yourself. I understand that there are crazy people in the world. However, that doesn't mean that that gives you the right to start off a, a potential relationship that way. 
Y'all got what I'm saying? So you need to pay the whopping $20 a month and you could go with the Google Voice or you can find any other app. I'm sure there are free ones that exist that will give you a, a secondary number if you absolutely are against giving out your own number. But you have to be willing to give a number that does not indicate that I don't trust you. I have trust issues. I am afraid. I understand why you're afraid. I've watched every single episode of Law & Order SVU. We're talking about 22 seasons. I understand why you're afraid. That doesn't mean that that gives you the right to make other people feel uncomfortable. You ready? Okay. So you have to be willing to give out your number. How are you going to give out said number? This is what you're going to do. You're going to be engaging on the app. Hi, my name is Allison. Hi, my name is James. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I noticed that you are a school teacher. Oh, yes, I teach uh, kindergarten. They're so amazing. They're so sweet, but it can be very draining sometimes. What about you? I'm a police officer. What is that like for you, especially as a man of color? Right? We're talking. What you're going to do is you are going to, number one, you're going to use whatever topic that you're talking about that has any kind of depth. What is it like to be an officer? I noticed that you were on vacation in Costa Rica. What was that like? Whatever thing that has like some depth other than hello, hello, how are you, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Anything that has any depth, you are going to take that and you are going to use that as an opportunity to talk because I don't want to text out a whole long paragraph about how my trip to Costa Rica was and how I got bit by all of these mosquitoes. But the the forest was so lush and I don't want to write all that right I'm going to tell you that so you're going to use anything that's of value to transition to the phone and it's going to be something like I would love to hear more about your trip to Costa Rica I would love to hear more about your event um in such and such how you're fundraising so and so you are going to use that as a way for you to to kick start your conversation and then you're going to say I'd love to hear more about blank here is my number give me a call after and then you give them the time that's what you're going to do. It's that simple. You're going to use whatever you're talking about that, that sounds like it's worthy of a phone call that has some depth, that's too much to text. And you're going to say, I'd love to hear more about blank. Here is my number. Give me a call after six. Give me a call after seven. I'll be driving in the car at eight. Whatever that looks like. Give them the invitation. Let them know that you're interested in transitioning this from the app to the phone. Why? Because we then need to transition from the phone to a date. I do not recommend going from the app straight to a date. Why? There's some people who say, oh, well, I want to see if the person looks the way that they look. Get them on get them on Zoom. Y'all see me? This is how I look. If y'all see me in the street, I, this is how I look. Get them on Zoom. Get them on FaceTime. Get them on whatever you have to. You don't need an in-person interaction to confirm that the person is who they say they are if they're on video. So that's not a valid excuse. Some people are going to say, well, I need to see if there's chemistry. Valid. It's, are two or three phone calls really going to hold you up so much so that you can't afford to give that time? Because let me tell you something that's problematic. You go from an app straight on a date without having a conversation and the two of you don't want the same things. It doesn't matter how much chemistry the two of you have. You've now... Mm, my ring, let me see. I think my ring light should work. Ha. It doesn't matter... This is, we got two lights, baby. It doesn't matter how much chemistry there is. And that's how situationships start. That's how situationships start. You are investing too much in chemistry. And you're not vet investing enough in making sure that the two of us are in alignment. You need to get on the phone first. Stop rushing to the date. Sometimes it's the ladies, more times it's the gentlemen. I need to see chemistry. You can see all the chemistry that you want, but if the two of you don't want the same things, you are signing up for, for struggle. You're signing up for drama. Ladies, you are signing up for wasting your time dating a gentleman who doesn't want what you want. Gentlemen, same thing, but many times it's going to be a, um, a pain in your ass when you are uh, trying to be with this woman in some form or fashion and she wants more and she's harassing you. Go date people who want what you want. So this chemistry, this chemistry, this chemistry, you can go on a date in two weeks and you will be fine. You can go on a date in, in a week and you will be fine. You need to talk on the phone to make sure that the two of you want the same things. Why would chemistry matter? If you, if you want to live on a farm and I'm a city girl in the sense of not city girl, city girl, but I'm a city girl. 
It don't matter. It don't matter how handsome you are. It doesn't matter how astute you are, how well-spoken you are, how good you smell. It doesn't matter how pretty I am or how well um, I laugh at your jokes or how my smile brightens up the entire room. We don't want the same things. There is no reason for us to have a conversation further. This is why you have to get on the phone first. I had a real, actually a podcast episode, the whole, the whole episode went viral and the real went viral when I said that the gentlemen are complaining about spending a lot of money on a stranger. Why should I spend $150, $200, 200 I don't know if you're worth it. You don't know if the woman's worth it because you're not taking the time to talk to her on the phone. You would know if this woman is quote unquote worth it, meaning is fulfilling what you want, right? We're all human beings who are worth something, but worth it to you. You would know that if you would take some time to talk on the phone, but no, you want to rush to a date. Then you want to rush to a cheap date and you don't mind not knowing this woman to have sex with her, but you do not, you do mind. I don't know her enough to spend some money on a date. You can avoid this ladies. You can avoid this. You're complaining about going out with guys who don't want what you want. You complain about situationships. You complain about investing in someone who doesn't have the desires that you have get on the phone talk confirm ask questions listen more than you talk when there are those awkward silences let those awkward silences rock force the other person to be the one who has to fill in the gap and then they'll tell you stories and they'll share their experiences and you'll ask more questions Stop rushing to a date for the sake of going to a nice restaurant so that you can enjoy the ambiance. Stop rushing to a date to make sure that he looks the way that he looks on a dating app or she looks the way that she looks. Stop rushing to the date because you're bored and you have nothing better else going on anyway. Stop rushing to the date because you try, you're trying to impress this chick so that you can sleep with her and then you're surprised when she's crazy or she's doing this or she's doing that or she's latching on. Stop rushing, right? Everyone has their thing and, and this is not again this is not against men or women it's it's not against men it's not against women it's against people the men complain that women are rushing to commitment and they're rushing to engagement they're rushing to marriage but they don't mind rushing to the bedroom the women are complaining that the guys are rushing to the bedroom but you don't mind rushing to a date you don't mind rushing to engagement you don't mind rushing to have kids everyone's rushing for the things that are in their benefit no one no one is innocent in this we're all guilty in different ways, right? So what the takeaway is from today's live is number one, if you want a different result, you have to do something different. So I'm hosting Dating 101, the live masterclass, December the 14th. All you have to do is comment or DM the words Dating 101 and it'll send you the link automatically. You spend your whopping $19, you join us on Zoom. December the 14th, 7 p.m. Eastern. If you don't join us, it's A-OK. -okay. Within 24 hours, I'm gonna send you the recording. So even if you can't join live, $19 is still a joke. 19 bucks is still a joke. Or you can YouTube your life away, podcast your life away, try to figure it out on your own. Some people do, and some people are winning. Some of us are busy professionals who don't have time to to dig through the 200 videos that are on my YouTube, to dig through, I don't even know, the 1,700 posts that are on my Instagram and then forget about anybody else who does this work, who legitimately does this work, who is in the trenches, who has clients, who gets results, who has the testimonials to prove it. At some point, you gotta invest in yourself. At some point, you gotta do something different to get a different result, okay? So that's point number one. Point number two is stop rushing the process. Offer your number, even if you are a woman, you will not die, you will be okay. You offer your number to this gentleman. If you need to get a secondary number, do that, but make sure that they don't know that because now you're creating a circumstance where they don't feel that you are trusting, that you have up walls. And again, in this society, right, as women, we need to protect ourselves, so get the number, but don't let them know that. After your first date, when you feel more confident, that you feel like we're moving forward, you can say, hey, James, I had a really good time. Actually, if it's okay, I'm gonna text you from my primary number. And, if, and delete the other one if you like or put it as secondary, but contact me here. Once you feel safe and confident, I get it. But you can't start out with the Google Voice number you have reached. Share your number, have the conversation, talk for about two weeks, text call, text call, text call. You don't have to be on the phone every day. Get to know them, ask the right questions. I go through what questions to ask on this training. And those who are my coaching program, I give them the questions specifically. So Pinky, these are the questions you need to ask in order to assess whether or not this guy is a good fit for you. 
Muscle mommy, these are the questions you need to ask. Mr. Charming, these are the questions you need to ask ladies to make sure they're an appropriate match, right? There are levels to this. It's the nature of the game. 19 bucks, I'm gonna give you an overarching idea. These are your non-negotiables. These are the questions you should be asking. So at some point, it's time for you to take the next step so you can get a different result. Go ahead and comment or DM the words dating 101. You could also click the link in my bio and you can join me live December the 14th, 7 p.m. Eastern for the Dating 101 Masterclass. Recordings will be sent out within 24 hours of the training. So let's get the work done. Desiree Chanel said, uh, is it Desiree or Desire? Let me know. I think it's Desiree. She said she just signed up. Thank you. And then is it Makia Money? She said she's going to be joining. Good. You got to do something different to get a different result. It's $19. So. All right, beautiful people, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, me and my husband, were going to a game night or something. He kind of like just walked in. I was distracted early. If you saw me like looking off, it was because he was like coming through the door. Um, we're going to go ahead and head out. I'm going to save this live for 24 hours. Please go ahead and share this live with anyone who you think can benefit. We were talking about transitioning on a dating app from the app to the phone to the phone to a date. And the full layout of how to navigate dating successfully will be in the live masterclass December the 14th, 7 p.m. Eastern. It is a whopping 19 bucks. Click the link in my bio or DM or comment the words dating 101. All right, folks, it's been a pleasure. Have a good one.